Hey guys, got home today and I had a very cool package in the mail. It's the Metal Storm Collector's Edition from Retrobit. Um, this was actually released through three different retailers. Um, Limited Run Games, uh, I believe, had 3,000 copies. Castlevania Games had 3,000, and Retrobit itself had 3,000 copies. Um, all I think the difference was they had a different variant of uh, cartridges, because this is actually uh, um, an NES game. Uh, I think it was released in 1991, uh, North America, 1992, uh, in Japan. Interesting about this game is it's actually, this is the actual Japanese version, although it's translated to English for the first time. So it should be pretty, pretty interesting. I've, I've only played this game, I think, through emulation because this is a, it's a pretty pricey game. I want to say the, the original cart itself is around 100 maybe i could be wrong uh it's it's i'd say it's between 50 to 100 and maybe be over 100 uh but it's a pretty pricey nes card but it's also a very good game at the same time um and let's go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy open and uh, see what's inside all right guys and yeah so on the front cover uh you got just here metal storm collector's edition uh, you can see down here uh on the side uh, you got the whole published by Retrobit. So, like I said, I mean, they, I believe there's 3,000 copies. Uh, from our center, there's 900 or 9,000 copies uh, released in North America. Uh, looks like they have, if you go to Retrobit's site, it looks like they have like European releases too. So, I don't know how many total releases there are. Um, but there was 3,000, I believe, at Limited Run, 3,000 at Retrobit, and 3,000 at Castlevania Games. I could be incorrect and it could be just a thousand of each variant but i think there's nine thousand in total uh, but this is the back of the packaging um and fyi just in case you're interested this does uh i think it sells for 69 dollars so though this version right here um is sold out this is the one through limited run games but i checked uh castle mania games today this is uh what january i think 7th this is the day that i received it looks like castle mania games still has uh some for order so you could probably grab it there i kind of wish i'd got theirs instead because they have the galactic blue nes card which looks really nice i'll see what i'll see what this one looks like when i get open but i've seen the galactic blue one um and it looks looks awesome so a little bit jealous but so I kind of wish I almost got it from Castlevania Games instead. Here's the bottom of the box. But we'll see what this one looks like. So hopefully, hopefully this one's pretty nice too. Let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Alright guys, and here is the inside of the slip cover. So you got the just actual box itself and it's a really nice looking art design. Um, got it kind of just, it goes with the, I guess the design of the cartridge towards like a metallic uh, silver cartridge. But you got a little bit of an embossment going on here for the metal storm and the little um, robot. Um, on the side and on the back here, you got the, the whole Metal Storm little robot as well. Collector's Edition, uh, just right there underneath. But yeah, just, I mean, it yeah, feels really nice. Um, good, solid quality. I'm definitely impressed with the, the quality of, of the, the box. And down on the bottom here again, you got published by Retrobit once again. And then on the side, you got M308, which is the, the name of the robot uh, that you play as inside the game. But yeah, really solid, uh, solid box. Um, like some good embossment on the front and on the back. Looks, looks, uh, looks really nice. Definitely impressed with it. I think it actually looks, I mean, I like the slip cover, but I feel like it looks better even. Uh, without the slip cover. Well, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open and see what's inside. And you got a little tissue paper here. Let's get this out of the way. And down in here, we got the uh, little figure that's included. 
and it looks like some a little envelope and here is the actual um, box itself and side note this is actually they sell this as just a standard edition as well if you don't want the collector's edition you can get just uh, that box itself as the standard edition well let's take a look inside of here and look at what's inside the envelope and you have a couple little cards with uh, also uh, some nice little embossment here on the cards a nice, nice little art, art card and flip it over and uh, art card number two so a nice little nice little addition and then certificate of authenticity metal storm collector's edition number 477 of 3000 limited production and this is the metallic silver um version so i guess it does verify that there's 3000 of this metallic silver from limited run 3000 of the galactic blue from I think it's Galactic Blue from uh, Castlemania Games, and I'm not sure exactly what uh, you got coming from uh, Retro Bit. I think I feel like it's like a dark gray or just like a standard uh, type grayish uh, color cart. And in here we have a pen and a very solid feeling pen. Nice, nice pen. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these pens. Everyone wants to do pens with collector's editions nowadays. I know a lot of you guys have commented on videos before that you have no interest in the pens. Um, I'm kind of in that same boat. I mean, I guess it's like, yeah, it's cool that, you know, it's a cool pen, but I don't know where the heck I'm going to put all these pens. I need, like, some kind of book to put them in or something. And uh, let's take a look at the little figure itself. It looks kind of... I feel like they should have had him leaning or centered over to the right because this is pretty stupid how he's not facing the center of that packaging. But uh, M308 Gunner premiered in 1991 on NES Metal Storm, which became recognized as one of the most uh, intricate games on the console. M308 Gunner manipulates gravity with his ability to switch to the ceiling and battle with... Uh, battle his mechanical enemies a nice little write up and we're gonna do what we do here and open this guy up we don't leave stuff in boxes around here why well, do that when you can take it out and play with them and put them on your shelf all right and now we got good old M308 out of his box. Let's take a look at him. It's uh, you know pretty feels pretty solid. It was definitely rubbery. It's got some flexibility to his wings and his little arm and gun and that thing wiggles a little bit too much. Let's see if we can take a look at this arm here. That guy, I mean that's doesn't look like there's much Hank holding that arm on it. And you can see that thing like wiggles pretty good. See if we can get a good look at it here. But yeah, you see why it, I guess that's all that's really holding that arm on. So he, he uh, he, uh, wibble wobble, wobble wobbles, uh, pretty good. Let's see if we can get some kind of a comparison as far as like size comparison. Let me grab a Amiibo and a Funko Pop just to kind of show you what he looks like as far as size comparison. And he's, a little bit bigger than both. So if you take the Spanetta Amiibo, and that's not focusing, uh, let me back it up. But yeah, he's a little bit bigger, um, especially due to the fact that the, his wings uh, give him a little bit more height, and he's a little bit taller than uh, the F uh, Kratos uh, Funko Pop as well. He's got he's got wings on him. It's basically what he has. Well, let's get these guys out of here and see if we can get a little bit closer look at him again. And there we go. Even yeah, the paint on him is not bad. It's not great. I can see a couple small little flaws, but I mean, overall, he's you know he's pretty decent. Um, 
I mean, I don't think you would buy this collector's edition just for him because there's a lot of stuff in here. So being that, you know, every, there's a lot of stuff involved in this collector's edition, it's 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 a good good quality. Not not great, could be better, but definitely solid quality for especially for every considering everything that's included in this uh in this. And here is the actual um NES box, and that is not folk. There we go. Okay. All right, so I don't have the actual, obviously, the cart or the original box for the NES, which I, I'm guessing the original box is probably several hundred bucks. But if you do, let me know uh, if it looks like this, because this is kind of like a, has a metallic uh, kind of finish to it, and I'm not sure if, I feel like the overall design is similar to the NES uh, box, but it could be wrong. This one may just may have like a new metallic kind of like a look to it, which I, I really like. I think it looks nice. And of course, you got some more, a uh, little bit more embossment here on the on the cardboard box for the actual cart itself. But I yeah, I, I really like this. I really like this uh, this box. They uh, they really did a good job. Uh, Retrobit has here so far, so far so good. That like I said, the characters itself, the figures is okay, but the the collector's box and then the uh, cardboard box for the cartridge are like really, really nice. Really like the artwork on them. But but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up and see what's inside of the. Um, box. Looks like so we got the cart with the sleeve. We got a poster, it looks like, and an instruction manual. And we'll start first with, uh, let's take a look at the cart first. And yeah, this is definitely the metallic silver one. And I like it a lot. Um, I don't know. I still <laughs> kind of feel like the galactic blue from uh, the, for the other one may be better. Uh, but this is, this one is really nice. I like it. I think I like this better than like what the, let's zoom in. Yeah, so on the back of the box here, kind of will tell you, you got the metallic silver, uh, it's pretty cool that that's kind of specific, to, <coughs> meaning that the the boxes they printed different boxes at least for uh, all the different retailers. But I think this is the original um, um, sticker or uh, cover art label um, that came on the original NES card. I mean, looks looks like it from what I can recall. Actually, maybe it's a little bit different. But yeah, I like this little sticker they got on the back with uh with M three oh eight on the back here. I mean I I mean I don't get me wrong, I really I do really like this metallic uh silver cart. Um I just I don't know. I'm 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 torn. I'm torn. I definitely like it, but I kind of almost like the the blue one better. I almost wish I could we got that one. But here we go, we got the instruction manual. And uh, game instruction manual. And on the inside, it looks like we got. Uh, this looks like we got some English and some Japanese. Let's take a look at a couple of the pages here. Yes, yeah, definitely looks like what we got. Looks like looks like it goes through and tells you everything you need to know in English, and then it kind of gravity flips. Yes, it does. But yeah, then when you come back, it uh, looks like it didn't just starts over and does everything again in Japanese. I guess so that's this way they only have to print one manual for, um, I guess, 
all regions is what it looks like. So, okay. But not bad. So you get an instruction manual, and then we also get this, uh, I believe it's a double-sided poster. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. And pretty cool. I will tell you that the, and I don't know if it's by design or not, but like the graphical, it looks a little bit, uh, and it's not just because I'm not focusing my camera here. Um, the art does look a little bit like I feel like a blurry or kind of like a blown up. And I just can't tell if that's, uh, I can't tell if that's like the like art style that they're going with. Or if it just didn't come out all that great. So... But I mean, it's it's, it's still a still nice poster. Not a great poster, you know. Like I said, it's it's okay. But I mean, hey, it's a double sided, cool poster. But all in all, like really impressed with the the just the total package. I mean, the the box, the cart, instruction manual, the pen, the little figure, um, the slip cover, double sided poster. All in all, it, I mean, it's it, it's a really good good package um solid quality couple things could be a little bit better but for 70 bucks i mean i don't think you can be especially when just the original card itself obviously this is not the original but it's still a retail release of the cart i mean being that the original one is like I mean, like a hundred dollar cart in fact you get all this for 70 i mean you can't you really can't beat it and it's a it's a solid game. Um, like I said, I haven't played much of it. I've just emulated a little bit of it, but I, it is very fun from what I've played. Um, but, it, you know, just from the community, you can tell that people speak very highly of this game. So definitely a great, great package. Let me know, like, if you guys um, got one, if you got the one from Limited Run, if you got it from Castlemania or Retrobit, uh, if you have um, got it, or if you're still waiting on it. And what you think of yours or let me know if you guys uh, are going to pick it up now that you're seeing it and if so which one do you think you would enjoy do you think you like this one from limited run that you could you'd probably have to get this uh off uh, ebay which i don't know what the prices are going to be like on there i apologize for that in advance um or if you am going to try it i would try to grab the galactic blue one if it's still in stock like i said i think that one's pretty sweet um, so hopefully they still have that at Castle Mini by the time you see this video. Um, or maybe the one from Retrobit. So but yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, could be a little bit better quality on a couple things, but just everything included is just, it's really impressive. And now I got, uh, for those of you that sticked around, uh, I do have a little surprise or reward, I guess. Um... So just hold on here. I'm going to give away a couple of uh, digital uh, codes for a couple of movies. Um, you know, Best Buy <coughs> has been doing um, re-releases of some of these. Like uh, I think these are like 4K uh, steel books uh, from Disney and Marvel. Some of the Marvel movies. And these I think come out and like retail for 35 bucks because they're like the 4K versions. Um, I snagged a, these four after Christmas because like the week after Christmas, I think all these were. Uh, $14.99 except for the Cars one. The Cars one was actually $9.99 which is why I grabbed it. Um, but the only one that I um, but here's the Thor one and Thor is probably like one of my favorite Marvel movies. But all, all I ask guys is um, yeah I really like this, this Steelbook. Like I said it's one, this is one of my favorite Marvel movies. Um, really like Thor. But all I ask is um, if you get the code here and you're going to claim it just put down in the comments which code you got and here's the code for thor uh, so go ahead if you need the code uh digital code go ahead and grab it um and you know if, if you're the first one here and you want all the codes hey go at it man get all the codes but just just put down in the comments like if you claimed it um and here's guardians of the galaxy as well we'll get to this one that way somebody else isn't going and like spend their time put in a digital code for something that's already been claimed so that, that's that's all i ask just a little little common courtesy but um but yeah like i said go ahead and have it at, at it and just put down in the comments if you claim the code and last uh lastly is um cars so in the uh 
yeah, I won't be doing the one for Iron Man. I already claimed it myself because for whatever reason, I don't have that digital code. So I just went ahead and claimed that one myself. Uh, but here's the one for cars. And then we'll come back and take a quick look at the actual steelbook itself. Um, but uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I have a video planned for this weekend. It's a gaming-related video. It's uh, related to a, a old football uh, series, 16-bit football series. So it should be very interesting. Uh <laughs> Um, hopefully I can get that out this weekend. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.